every event starts with an idea. Then people come together and together they can realize the idea. For us it started on the SDA forum that quickly evolved into ESA 2012. I packed my car with my computer, all my monitors, which was only two at the time, uh, an extra keyboard and the mouse, and off we went. We grabbed audio gear from Nissa and we taped the webcam to the ceiling. 11 years later, we have a lot better cameras and they're not taped to the ceiling anymore. It still started with an idea and now there are more people bringing in more ideas every event. In, in reality, not much has changed, it's just become more refined, grander, better, and that's gonna continue. Oh, there we are. Hey! Hello. Hey, we're back. Back in the day, ESA was just a small group of dudes hanging out in a room playing video games. Over the last 10 years, the whole thing has gone through the roof. It was just old consoles, any percent, 100 percent, small amount of people. We've now got over 600 attendees in the biggest event we've ever had. We're having low percent runs, we're having 14 hour runs, we're having 22 hour runs, we're having PC co-op, online games. We've changed the game. It's, it's not what it was before. The level of production has gone up, the size of the teams has gone up, the quality has gone up. And what have we got on top of that? We've got showcases that haven't been seen at any other event before. Yes, we've got video games. Yes, we've got timers. We've got Mika on a dance pad doing Souls games never happened. We've got actual DDR content, we've got score attack, and then it's like, what can we do now? Let's just do shows. Let's actually just do full on produce content uh, and just show the world like the cast that we've got and what we've got. We've got Break the Record crew, we've got Ashman, we've got Argic, we've got Huds, we've got Bowie, and we've got all these amazing things. We've got Taskmaster, we've got The Price is Right. Uh, we've got, what else have we got? We've got Dollar Runs, it's like, okay, let's play a video game. Okay, well, we could do things, but why don't we get the audience to do things? Let's get them involved. They donate money, we do silly things. It's an amazing time for charity. And then it's like, okay, well, then the other guys, remember that crowd control team? They took our idea and they came in and it was like okay let's just make a lovely nice pretty tool in the stream you know it's all high tech and whatever the same deal the, the audience center. are getting involved they mess with the runs it's an amazing time for all so this is like the best time to be here at ESA it's the best time to follow along because things are only getting better they're only getting bigger and they're only going in a forward direction so keep your eye on the prize because that's us I bestow onto you the first inaugural Taskmaster ESA trophy so back in 2014 when I first came to ESA, it was organized on a forum thread. The event took place in a community hall. It gave the illusion of quite a lot of organizing going into it, but the reality was the event was crowdsourced. People brought with them everything they needed, and that's not the way it is anymore. Like We bring with us almost all of the equipment that goes into making this event. That includes the arcade games, it includes the PCs, the monitors, and these days we even have some in-house scalers and stuff that people can loan to play retro consoles on our flat screens. And we are now looking at more attendees than ever. ESA Summer 2023, the event we're at just now, has broken our all-time attendee record, something that's been growing ever since we back to, went back to on-site events. And that means we're having to plan events two or three years in advance to make sure that we're gonna have venues, hotel rooms, and accommodation for everybody who wants to come to these events. Back in 2014, it was like, oh, this is the event hotel. How many rooms has it got? Ah, that'll, that'll, that'll do. Everyone else will be in mass housing, which is uh, something that we're definitely glad to not have anymore. Aww. Hello everyone, my name is Hedvig and I work at the Swedish Alzheimer Foundation. I'm super happy to be here during the ESA summer event. I'm so impressed by you guys, you are so talented, but mostly I'm so happy to see your big commitment and engagement during this week. Your donation means a lot for Alzheimer Fonden, which means that we can help the research. Thank you so much. Hello everybody, my name is Anna Tanya and I'm the Minister for Older People and Social Security here in Sweden. I just want to thank you all for doing such a good job raising money for the Alzheimer Fund. 
Lately, we have done such a good progress when it comes to finding a treatment and a cure for Alzheimer, but we will need so much more money for the future. So thank you all for the good work that you're doing, raising so much money. Have a lovely, lovely trip and a lovely days now. We see you. At ESA, there are so much things going on all the time, both on site, but also around in Malmö and in Copenhagen. We have so many side events that we in the social media team and the marketing team can't even cover it all. We have bouldering, we karaoke night, we have an amazing after party with Nico Hart, board game rooms, always crowded with people, you beat tournaments. It's impossible for us to cover it all, but we try our best on social medias for everyone to get a little glimpse of what's going on at an ESA event and we're always open to new ideas how to improve the ESA event both on site and online. Hurts! <laughs> <laughs> Hurts is buzzing! That one better be Grand Theft Auto. It is Grand Theft Auto! <laughs> In terms of tech teams, fundraising teams, scheduling teams, they stayed fairly static, but over the course of many, many years, um, the quality of work mostly improved. The addition of Stream 2 then, of course, it was necessary to get even more people involved, and then we expanded into other areas, things like social media, marketing, grew our chat moderation team to have a permanent team. Uh, the Infodesk is another team which came to be after winter 2018 I believe and now you couldn't live without the Infodesk anymore. It's a main point of contact for every event attendee who comes to the event. I'm guessing, I don't have any numbers right now, but with the biggest event in terms of attendees also comes the biggest event in terms of volunteers. It's always tricky to like actually remember everybody who's involved. Like, Edenall stands regularly on stage and forgets at least one team <laughs> during every single speech, which is kind of a running gag right now. Velocity is a word because when you're trying to go very, very fast, one must velocity. Oh, however, one must velocity because you're going really fast through a game there. And it's such as a game of Sonic. However, it has no relevance or meaning whatsoever to the word that has a uh, hydro city in the word. What makes ESA such a unique event is not just the achievements we have on stream, it's the heart that goes behind it, it's the people that come to these events and show up in driving force. They have energy, they have ideas, they have so much to give, all in the name of a good cause. Bringing all those ideas to life here is what makes being at ESA so much fun. It's what drives everyone forward and drives us to get as much money for charity. It's for a good cause. It's bringing everyone together. It's to have a family to come back to every year to just spend time with, to have laughs, like shed tears together with, and create moments that are magical and that will last forever. It's times like these that you really appreciate being at an event like this, seeing so much love being spread out throughout the community from everyone here, but also everyone back at home. It's that what makes ESA so great. And I can't wait to see all of you back here at ESA Winter, which is going to be announced at the end of the credits. Roll. No! No!
Thank you.